Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to give you an in depth review of oxygenos 12 c.33 stable build for the oneplus 8 series devices i'll also address all the bugs and problems with this build so without wasting any more time let's get started if you go into the about info section you can see that the build number is c.33 which is oxygenos 12 stable build the build was released almost 2 weeks ago and since then i have been using it on my oneplus 8t my overall experience has been majorly positive and i just encountered a few bugs here and there and let's discuss each of the aspects in detail if we talk about the overall journal performance without gaming it is excellent and oneplus has improved oxygen os 12 a lot with the consistent updates the phone is snappy responsive and fast and all the animation app opening closing everything is working great a lot of users were reporting that they are facing jitters and lags when recording a video at 4k 60 fps i also used to have that bug on the previous builds of oxygen os 12 but now i am not facing that bug If I go into the camera application and set my video to 4K 60 and let's record a clip for 10 seconds and now if I play the clip you can see there are no lags and frame drops and if you are someone who is facing that issue I will recommend you clearing app data of the camera application and trying again the camera quality is however the same and no updates has been done to the camera application now let's talk about the battery the battery life has been just very very good for me I am getting somewhere around 5 to 6 hours of screen on time on average without heavy gaming and I have not faced any battery drain and the same goes for the charging speeds no issues with that if someone is facing issues with charging or battery a clean install is recommended moving on some users reported that wo wifi calling was not properly working and even i myself noticed in the previous builds that the phone used to switch between wo wifi and volti a lot but that now seems to be fixed and the call quality is also better now i'll keep you updated with this one a lot of users were also asking about the 5g bands so no there are no 5g bands in india and for using 5g you will need to have a 5g sim card and a 5g net for connection and both of them are not available in india currently overall oxygen os 12 has been very stable and solid for me have not faced any major bug but the biggest flaw of oxygen os 12 is that it is still not optimized for gaming the maximum fps that you can get is 45 to 55 in bgmi with lags and jitters there is no way to enable 90 fps in bgmi so if you are someone who plays a lot of bgmi then either roll back to oxygen os 11 or in, or install an android 12 custom rom comment down if you want a full gaming review of oxygen os 12 however oxygen os 12 is very stable for normal users who don't game on their mobile devices and there are very few bugs and glitches on this one i just hope they fix the gaming issues with oxygen os 13 and if you are facing any other issues i'll suggest you clean install this build that will fix most of the problems and if you can't do a clean install then waiting for the next update is the only option that's all for this video hopefully you liked the video smash the like button if you did subscribe to the channel for more tech videos thank you for watching